Hi, I'm Adam from Paul Cycles, and in this video, I'm going to talk you through removing and installing a set of pedals, as well as highlighting some of the easy, common mistakes that you can make. Most pedals will be fitted with a 15mm pedal spanner, while some will use an 8mm or a 6mm Allen key. A little bit later on, we're going to show you how to tell which tool you're going to need. It's also really handy to have some grease. This does come in a big pot like this, or you can get small little vials. We'll put a link down below in the description that you can purchase from our website. To start with, we're going to remove the existing pedals from the bike. With pedals, it's really important to note that they are left and right specific, and that's as you sit on the bike. So this side, the side with the gears, this is the right-hand side, and this side over here, without the gears, that's the left-hand side. Now the right-hand side is a conventional clockwise thread, whereas the left-hand side is a counterclockwise thread. I'll talk more about that later. With your pedal spanner, pop it onto the axle and then turn to undo your pedal. Be careful not to catch your crank arm with your spanner so you don't scratch the arm. Just unwind it, then you can do the last bit by hand. That's your pedal removed. Now we're onto the left-hand side of the bike. So remember, this is a counterclockwise thread. So to remove and undo your pedal, you have to turn it clockwise. An easy way to remember is to turn it away from the front of the bike. So just start with your pedal spanner. Make sure you don't catch your crank arm. Once it's loose, you can do the rest by hand, and that's both your pedals removed. Now it's time to install your new set of pedals. Identifying which is your left and which is your right is really important here. So I'm going to show you three different sets of pedals which use three different markings to identify the left from the right. On this set of pedals, you'll see that one of the axles has these serrated markings. This means that it's the left-hand pedal. On this set of pedals, it's not quite so obvious. The axle here has a very small groove. Now it's only the left-hand pedal which has that groove, so just be careful to keep an eye out for that. On this final set of pedals, there's no markings on the axle, but the body of the pedal has an L for left and an R for right. Now you've identified your left from your right-hand pedal, we're going to install them in the bike. Now these pedals require a 15mm pedal spanner, so you can see by the axle here. Some pedals, like these ones, use an Allen key fitment. All the same rules apply whether you're fitting a set of pedals with a spanner or whether you're fitting a set of pedals with an Allen key. Now we're going to install the pedals. We're on the right-hand side of the bike, so remember, grab your right-hand pedal. It's really handy here to put a little bit of grease on the axle. This just helps to stop it from seizing in the future. So just pop a little bit on there, doesn't need to be much. And then start to wind it into the crank arm. Remember the right hand side is a conventional clockwise thread. So just start by hand. This just helps to make sure that you don't cross thread the pedal. Then once it's in, grab your spanner and wind it in the rest of the way. As you get close, just be careful not to catch your crank arm. With pedals, really important to get them really tight so make sure you use lots of leverage, get your body weight behind it, and there you have it. On to the left-hand side of the bike now. So remember you can identify your left-hand pedal by the markings on the axle or an L stamped onto the body of the pedal. The left-hand side is a counterclockwise thread. So an easy way to remember installing your pedal, you turn it towards the front of the bike. A little bit of grease on the axle just helps it in the future to prevent it from seizing. And then when you install it, start it off by hand. This way you can ensure it goes in nice and straight, nice and square, so you don't cross thread and damage the pedal and the crank arm. If you feel resistance as the pedal just starts, just double check that you've got your left and your right correct and your pedal is going in nice and square. It should go in quite nice and smoothly with, without too much resistance. Once you've started it off by hand, then grab your spanner, tighten it in the rest of the way. Once you're there, make sure it's really nice and tight. And that's your pedals fitted. Thanks for watching. For more tips and videos like this, 
don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.